I am going to apologize right now for every video with the chicken noise in the background. <laughs> Hopefully nobody can hear the chicken noise in the background. They're screaming for their mom right now. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's brownie week! It's brownie week! So I don't know where we came up with this idea. We came up with a, I'm going to call it a brownie, but it's not quite like your normal fudgy brownie, but it gives you the same kind of like feeling, right? Yeah, a dessert with a purpose. Yeah. So what we're going to make today is a brownie. It's like a cakey kind of brownie. It's kind of like a cross between a brownie and pudding. Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that a good description of the texture? I think that it is accurate, and I'm always looking for ways to incorporate keto desserts, but in a safe way, right. not like, let's just go crazy. What makes these brownies really special is they're not really high in fat, they are really delicious, and they're only one net carb per brownie, plus we're not adding any extra fat like butter or anything like that. Which doesn't sound like a brownie at right. all. Well, do you want to make this? Yes. Let's go over what we're going to need. First thing you're going to need is a bowl, but we're going to keep that off to the side. Now, a little warning. We went to film this video and somehow our hand mixer broke. It Dead. won't hold like the, the, you know, the little spinny things in there, whatever you want, the beaters. That has to be the scientific name for them. Yeah, the beaters. It won't hold it in there, so we're gonna have to hand mix. So bear with us on this one. Here's the ingredients we're gonna need. We're gonna need some eggs. These are from the girls in the backyard. Thanks, guys. We need some baking powder. We need some almond flour. But not a ton, so don't panic. Right? We need some cocoa powder. Then we're gonna need some allulose or any kind of sweetener you want. So I'm gonna use allulose. The reason I like allulose, allulose actually can help to lower your blood sugar. It also doesn't have that cooling effect of erythritol, but it's got that same texture as erythritol. So it cooks really well. Problem is allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar. So when you start adding a bunch of allulose to up the sweetness, you add a lot of allulose. Right. So to combat that, we're gonna use some liquid stevia. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the allulose, that's gonna give us what we need as far as like the solidity for having your sugar and then also have the stevia which will up the sweetness to make up for that extra 30%. Now, another option is using this stuff, okay? And the reason we're not making it in the video is because a lot of people don't have this, but I want to show you. This is great. This is made by High Key. It's really good. This is a combination of monk fruit, erythritol, allulose, and stevia. It's a great blend. And it's a perfect blend. So what you would do is use a half a cup of this instead of half a cup of allulose, and then you're going to eliminate the stevia. But I just wanted to make everybody aware of this. Next thing we're going to need is yogurt. Now, we're using our recipe, but I don't have a container that right. says Two Crazy Two Keto's. Two Crazy Keto's yogurt. So I've got this one here because we're going to use this to make some more yogurt later. But we're going to use yogurt. That's important. We need some vanilla. Yum. Sounds like a lot of ingredients, but it's, nice. was, it's baking. You know I always love this as like a little behind the ear. And then we're going to need some peanut butter. I highly recommend using Crunchy for this recipe. It adds a little bit of texture. You're really going to want it. We found this in Whole Foods. It's really good. It's called CB Nuts Original Peanut Butter. It's got one ingredient. Peanuts. Peanuts. As and it should. That's the really important thing. Now, you could also use almond butter if you want. Uh, but again, I recommend using a crunchy. It's going to add to the texture. It's going to make it taste a little bit better. You ready to get into this? Yes. So let's put all this stuff away, and then we'll come back and make everything. 
So, okay, now that we have a bowl, are you ready to go? I am, I've got my apron on, and since I'm wearing the apron, does that mean that this recipe is easy? It's very easy. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yay, I love that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our liquid ingredients, and what we're doing is we're using yogurt. Now, you can't use any yogurt. You're going to have to use a very thick Greek yogurt. If you use a regular yogurt that's not Greek yogurt or preferably our yogurt, that recipe is up here. The reason you wanna use our yogurt is because it's going to be much thicker than your average yogurt. So we need a cup of that. And again, the link for this recipe on our website is down below in the description. So we're gonna use one cup of yogurt. Let me make sure I get it all. You're gonna use two large eggs. So these are two of the larger eggs from our girls in the backyard. Sometimes they lay small eggs. So when they give us the smaller to medium ones, I'll use three. But you want the equivalent of two large eggs. Next, we're gonna use one teaspoon of stevia. And we're gonna go with a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm, I love the smell of that. I, I can give you the whisk. Again, I would say do this in a with a blender. Do this in like a food processor. You can use a hand beater. I didn't want to roll a food processor over here and our hand beater is broken. But all we're gonna do is just mix this up and blend it until it's nice and smooth. We'll make it do. Looks okay. pretty good. Yep, now that that's all done, we can put that off to the side. We're gonna mix into that half a cup of almond flour, quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, a half a cup of your sweetener. Again, we're using allulose and then we used the liquid stevia earlier. And then we have two teaspoons of baking powder. We're gonna go ahead and blend all of that together. Back at it. Wow, with that yogurt, we are really getting a nice thick batter. Right, now again, very important, don't use a regular yogurt. It's gotta be a super thick Greek yogurt, otherwise this is not going to work. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take what should be an eight by eight pan, but every time I go to get an eight by eight pan, I can't find one. And then I'm like, oh, I'll get one later. We'll use the nine by nine. And then I never actually order the eight by eight. We're Almost like impossible that. to find locally in a store. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to pour all of that right into our pan. I noticed you've lined it with parchment paper. Yes, yeah, so what I do is I just take a piece of parchment paper, I cut a square and put it in the bottom. That's just to make it easier to get out. And also I never have like spray stuff and I don't use like grease anymore. All right, how does that look? Good, now we're just gonna kind of loosely spread this around. Ooh, did we forget the peanut butter? No. You put it on later. We're gonna put it on later. So what I like to do, without breaking my granite countertop, and just give it that little pat. Splash them. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our peanut butter, and we got our little spatula. And what we're gonna do is just put a couple little dabs in there. Now, Dallops. Now, the, again, this is like a natural peanut butter, so it's, you know. It's not the same as regular peanut butter. It's not as watery as other ones. Plus, I like this one, because this isn't like super chunky, but it's chunky enough. Like, there's some texture in there. Yeah, which I like in my brownies. So, all we're doing is putting a little couple of dots here and there, and then we kind of mix it in a little bit. Like a swirl? Yeah. Do we fold it in? No, we're not folding it in. Fold in the cheese. Okay. So now just kind of like swirl, swirl it. it around a little bit Ooh, in there. Nice. So that it kind of blends into the chocolate. That's fun. Try to get the edges a little bit. You want to have a little peanut butter in every bite. Right. This is a fun recipe to do with kids. Okay, that looks good. You're not licking it? I can't I want to. That. Give it a little tap. Mm. We're gonna put this into the oven, about 25 minutes. What you're looking for is it to be firm. The middle may be slightly jiggly, but you wanna make sure it's nice and firm at the same point. Okay. So to save time, we already made a batch of this. Through the magic of television. Because we're trying to film four videos today. So right. we didn't want to have to wait for everything. So we made this batch earlier while we were filming one of our other videos. 
This is how they come out. And again, I don't want you to think of this as a super fudgy recipe. It's, it's kind of like a cross between like a cake and a fudgy recipe. So I, that's why I kind of say it's almost like a pudding. So when you go into it, you're going to see you've got like this cakey thing inside of it. It's nice and moist. And they Sorry, are kids. really, really good. You ready? Yes. Now they do have a slight tang to them depending on the yogurt you use. So if you use our recipe, the more whey you take out of it when you're straining it, the less tang, the less tang you're going to have. But what I like about this is it. you're going to have like a really good protein to fat ratio when you eat these. Ready? Boop. Mmm. Mm. That's so good. That is good. And you're like guilt free. Right? A true chocolatey peanut buttery treat. They're very chocolatey. Yeah, they're super chocolatey. Now, one thing that we don't like to do is really get into the nutrition aspect of our recipes because it comes down to the ingredients you use. Yeah. The ingredients that we use may not be the ingredients you use. So for example, we're using CB Nuts peanut butter. But you may use something different like Jiffy. Yeah, and that's gonna completely change all the macros. But based on the ingredients that we use today, here's what you're looking at. Right around 100 calories per brownie. Which and is crazy. This made nine nice sized brownies. I, was like, I mean, take a look at that. That's a big brownie. 100 calories? So you're looking at 100 calories. I think it's like 105 to be exact. Each one's got about seven grams of protein and seven grams of fat. One so to one. One to one. That's what we talk about all the time. You want to get one to one. So. It's really like a guilt-free brownie. This is a great way to have a nice little dessert treat and still be on your one-to-one -one type lifestyle. I feel like this is really supporting your health plans, but also giving you a treat. So let us know down in the comments section if you make these and what your opinion on them was. And you can be honest if you don't like them. Say, yeah. hey, those things stink. <laughs> don't don't make those ever again. Maybe don't be brutal in your honesty. Just, just nice honest. Okay, well, be nice. Yeah, please be nice honest. <laughs> So also, I'm curious, what kind of things do you guys like to add to nuts. your brownies? I like nuts. You like nuts? I do. I like walnuts. I know that's not everybody's favorite. I love walnuts. I love walnuts. What about chocolate chips? We can do that too. That's so great... I love seeing people change up our recipes a little bit like that. Also, is there some other treats that you enjoy that helps to get your protein in yeah. without adding a ton of fat? Yeah. So let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other recipes that we have linked right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we come up with a new recipe, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.